My name is Jolene Madison and I serve as the president here at the South Carolina School for the Deaf and the Blind. We hope you'll enjoy this video as you learn more about our amazing school programs. The South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind began 170 years ago as a ministry of the Reverend Newton Pinckney Walker, who in January 1849 began teaching five deaf students. Six years later, he started teaching blind students. Up until the 1700s, deaf and blind individuals were considered unfortunates and not capable of learning and they were often sent to asylums. Reverend Walker proved this misconception wrong, and today the teachers and staff of SCSDB prove that misconception wrong every day. Today, the school is a vibrant and multifaceted institution, touching the lives of over 1,400 students throughout South Carolina. Whether the student is being served through the residential program or in their hometown, the mission of educating the deaf the blind, or the sensory, multi-disabled student has not wavered from Reverend Walker's vision in 1849. Sure, subject matter and teaching methods have changed, but the goal of preparing students for independent living has not changed. There are three schools on the 160-acre campus in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The Blind School, the Deaf School, and Cedar Springs Academy which is the school for sensory, multi-disabled students. Cedar Springs Academy is just a little bit different from the other two schools. The difference in Cedar Springs Academy is we are a non-graded program. We uh, serve students who have a sensory disability. And the, um, the sensory disability impacts them the most, but our students here at Cedar Springs Academy need additional time, they need additional instruction to help them uh, achieve their best. In addition to these schools, there is an applied academic center that teaches students hands-on skills. Skills such as CNC milling, plumbing, electrical, carpentry, and other skills needed in today's workforce. The outreach centers are located in Charleston and in Columbia. From here, teachers fan out across South Carolina, teaching students in their hometowns. The outreach team works with parents, school teachers, and administrators to ensure that each child receives the education and skills they need to reach their fullest potential. The five arts disciplines that we offer here are music, dance, art, theater, um, creative writing. Those are the five that have been identified in the South Carolina Department of Education. So we really try to give opportunities to all students in those areas. So then they can find, hey, this is what I really love to do. Um, this is my niche. I love how this happens or this works. And so that's what we try to do. And to make the arts accessible, that's the key here at SESDB. The standards are the same as any other school. Currently, the school is in a major master planning stage, which will change the look of our campus, but not our mission. In five years, some of our buildings will be gone, while others will be built. The dream of success for every child led Reverend Newton Walker to open our school in 1849. Today, we dream of ever-increasing opportunities for each child we serve. Through our sports program, we not only play a game, it's much bigger than that. We talk about the game of life with our athletes. Once they leave the South Carolina School for the Deaf and the Blind, what our sports program has built inside of them to prepare them for the next part after graduation, from leaving the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind that they can carry on throughout their entire life. In the future, we will continue to provide quality academic programs with emphasis on reading, technology, independence and employment. As always, we will strive to identify and develop each student's highest potentials. When I think of the school, the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind, and my years of enjoyment of being here, I just, I really think about how these students, how their lives are changed, how they come here and they're embraced by the faculty and the staff, they're embraced by the other students, they're embraced by a life that that is just a very wonderful place to be that fully changes their lives and helps them 
to live a full life in the future off of our campus. We will continue to expand our statewide outreach program to provide more close to home services for infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. We will continue to work with local school districts to provide the adaptive and accessibility services needed by our students who are deaf, blind, or sensory multi-disabled.